Okay. Hello, everyone. How are you doing today? <laughs> I hope you're doing well. Um. Oh, hi. How are you doing? <laughs> I recently started a new diet, and I really want to tell you guys about it. So, um. Recently, I started a seafood diet. Actually, when I see food, I eat it. Um. Anyway, today I will be playing assessment examination. Um. Before that, I actually would like to do a little free chat, just because I thought like some people might not be comfortable with horror games, and yeah. I did get some questions in my marshmallow. Thank you very much, and I will just read them over. Okay. Okay. So, um, 健身什么的有在做吗 Um, do I have any workout routine? I, I do hip thrusts to keep my cake. <laughs> Um. Well, I, I don't really have a training routine to say, but I did pick up playing Ring Fit recently, so that's cool. And um, let's see the other one. 不知廉耻地想睇日 live 打字字 twist. Oh. 滴楼 ，OK。仲有想睇塔龙连阴影 game Arcane Stone Circle Mysteries。OK， so， um， you want me to play Twist Disneyland， which I am very interested in playing， and um， and the game called Arcane Stone Circle Mysteries。Um， yeah， I did actually， I did actually look into it。And I realized I need Flash Player, like Adobe Flash Player, to play it. But、um, I'll figure it out. I'll try. Thank you for your recommendations, and thank you for answering my、um, ask thing. Very, very cool. Oh, a bit sick. Oh, I hope you get well soon. Is it because of the weather? Or anything else? Well, I'm actually getting the third third dose of COVID vaccine tomorrow. Yeah, so hopefully I won't feel too sick because、um, I'm actually very very terrified of vaccines. It sounds kind of silly, but、um, yeah, I am terrified of vaccines, and I just hope the side effects aren't too horrible. Hope you get well soon, though. The weather has been kind of bad lately. Actually, I've been feeling like under the weather too. Is that in Chinese? Um, yeah. I can speak both English, Cantonese, and I can actually speak a little Mandarin too. So, um, yeah. I mostly speak in English, but. I am open to like Cantonese and stuff like that too. No, the coof. Oh, it's okay. The vaccine is really nothing. Oh, that's good to hear. Um, I didn't have much side effects for my first dose or my second. I just felt really tired and I slept the whole day away. But um, yeah. Hopefully the third one wouldn't be too bad too. Hello. How are you doing? I just realized I just realized there's a little delay to the chat, but um, all cool, all cool. And um, yeah, for the game today, let's talk about it. Actually, um, it is actually related to the Mandela catalog. If you guys are familiar with it, it's like a little horror series. Um, it's a series of videos. I put it in my description link, but it's really cool. You should, you guys should check it out if you're into that kind of stuff. Um, 
it is basically about like alternates um which are human looking aliens you could say that so it's kind of like a big game of among us <laughs> so um basically they are harmful you could say and our goal is to identify which are the um, alternates and which are the normal people that we could trust and is the plot is kind of dark if you ask me because um what it is about is that when you see alternates you're supposed to kill them and dispatchers if you call like 911 they would kind of ask you to go like d-word or k-word yourself so that you don't get other people killed but yeah cool series um knowing the plot makes it less scary like the game but yeah i guess that's kind of it like if you're really uncomfortable with uncanny stuff i would say maybe skip that but if you're into that yeah definitely check it out youtube tells me it's resident evil village <laughs> Yeah, that's the funny thing because this one is like an indie game like um, It's not even on Steam. I downloaded it off like the developers page So I kind of just put something random in it. I'm sorry if you're looking for like Resident Evil Village I definitely want to play it though. I love um, Heisenberg. Is it his name? Heisenberg? I love him and I also love like Lady Demetrisk, so I definitely want to play it. Um, anyway, let's get the game loaded, shall we? Okay. Okay, okay. Let's see. Let's stop this. And let's turn this on. Okay, there we go. Can we all see it? Nice and clear. No, I don't want full screen. <laughs> okay. Is it good? Okay, okay. Let's go. Access assessment examination. Let's go. Start. The examination will now begin. Hello, friend. Thanks for applying for this position at the authenticity assessment. Yes, Heisenberg is a Dante too. Oh, I love Dante so much. If you get the job, that is. Today, we'll be testing your instincts to see if you're qualified to perform authenticity assessments on your own in a real life. Of course, I am a detective. That, some quick questions are required to get some more insight about who we would be hiring. Please take a sit and await further instruction. Mm hmm I'm waiting. How did you hear about this position? A word of mouth, newspapers, and a dream. Well, I, um, I don't read newspapers anymore. A dream. I don't think I would get the job if it's like a dream, but aren't we all just living in a big fever dream? <laughs> um, word of mouth. I don't think so. I found this. So I say a dream actually. Okay. Let's go! Do you have any professional experience in this area? Um, what kind of experience are you looking for? Mm. Um, let's say... I would like to say yes, but I'm not sure what you're asking for. But would I get the job if I say no? Um, let's just say yes. We could wiggle through this. Do you have any personal experience in this area? Um, that's kind of a personal question. <laughs> well, um, let's just say yes. Whoa. Um, do you believe in God? Um. Let's say... No, I'm gonna answer this honestly. Do you fear death? Wow, this is getting personal. Um, 
I mean, you're kind of like a detective. I am a detective, bestie. Um, do you fear death? Do you guys fear death? Um, I'd say it depends. Like, if I was in, like, a dangerous situation where I am going to, like, die, I I might fear it. I, I would have the adrenaline kicking in, but, um, overall, not really, i say. Like, if you're really, like, terminally ill, that would be the last thing you would be afraid of, wouldn't it? Anyways, before this gets too philosophical, I say no. Would you fear God? Well, it depends. Like, no, I would fight God. Do you have people you love in your life? Yeah. Do you fear losing them? Mm, I feel like that's... That's like... Kinda... Obvious. Yeah, but... 8E to a one four. Is that important? Should I write it down? Wait, hold on, let me... Let me write it down. Let me write it down real quick. Do I have paper? Do I have paper? Yeah, there you go. I got paper. Okay, we got paper. Um, 8E to A14. Okay, I don't know what that means, but can I click it? In a moment, we will provide you with several images of people, and you must determine whether or not these people are authentic and to be trusted. Or threats you should stay away from. Please mm -hmm. be careful with your selections. Our decision on whether to hire you will depend heavily on your results. Yeah, hire me, bestie. I need a job. I need the money. Oh, bro. Do you trust him? Mm, I wonder. Let's just say. Let's just say. You look kind of fucked, like, not gonna lie. Look at his eyes, like, it looks squiggly, but, um... I'm not trying to... I'm not trying to be offensive here, but... I don't think you should be trust. I can barely hear the game. Okay, let me turn it louder. Is that better? Is that better? Um, I don't think there's sound right now, but... Okay, Grandma. Red. I turn it up the loudest. If you guys still can't hear it, I would make it louder. She looks normal. Or they, they look normal. Let's trust them. Oh, you look... You have a scar, but other than that, you look okay. We see uh, a little tree, a bird, a slide, and a few kids. Okay, let's. Okay, okay. Wow. Fight or flight response? Well, I say. I say flight. I say flight. If you can, but. I'm a public servant, so I have to fight. I'll fight for you, bestie. Okay, I can hear it. Great, perfect. Should I trust this guy? He looks he looks fine. He doesn't have brows though. Fred. Damn girl, um Um Fred. This guy, he looks fine. Trust. Oh, damn. Where are your eyes at? Me no like. Um, you look like Slenderman, Fred. Abraham Wallace. Date. 27th of October. Diazenvan... 
5mg tablet. Take free tablets by mouth nightly. Keep out of children's reach, okay? Um, you look fine. You look like that Bird's Bee guy, you know, the, um, the, 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 what is it called? Like, the ointment? Yeah, the Bird's Bee ointment guy. He looks like a guy, like, you look like a nice guy. I could trust you. Oh, sh I just realized the, the sound was different. Does it, like, affect my outcome? Am I not getting hired? Um... You look kind of weird, but sure. Hi, girl. You look like... You look fine. You look like, um, what's her name? Ginny? Ginny Granger from Harry Potter. Oh no, it's the sound again. Did I get it wrong? I'm gonna go for it. Okay. Francisco Estrada, 19, victim 2. Police department. What's your emergency? Yeah, hi, I'm at Dory Park at the gas station actually. In a corner of Dory Park, I think there's somebody who needs help. It's a kid outside. He's got some blood on him. Mm-hmm. Is he hurt? I don't know. He looks fine. It's just, he's outside and the door is locked, so I can't tell. He is asking for help though. So I don't know if you can, you can hear it, but he's asking me to help him. Oh. Okay, I'm dispatching an ambulance right now. Is there any way you can unlock this door? Oh, I can unlock it for sure. I work here. I have the keys. Then what's stopping you? Well, I mean, I wanted to help him, obviously. The moment he came in. It's a kid with blood on him, for Christ's sake. But... And this is gonna sound like crazy to you. Just as I was pulling out my keys, I saw it. What did you see? His face. His face, you know. He had this look. It reminded me of something. I don't know what. Something I'm terrified of. Fuck, I don't know, man. But something's off about that kid. Like, real off. Oh. I would just lock my doors if I were you. Wouldn't let him in. You're gonna let this kid bleed out because he feels off? No, that's not what I'm saying. He's he's not dying, I don't think. He just uh, didn't look right, It's all. Kid looked like he just died himself, but he hasn't, obviously. He looked like a ghost or a demon. It's hard to explain. Maybe I'm just fucked up right now. I've been drinking a little bit. But you had to see him. A scary shit, officer. Oh yeah, officer, do something. <laughs> officer? He must be pale because of blood loss. Poor kid can't even keep his eyes straight. What was that? And not because... He drank one too many cheap beers. Is he still... Stop. Stop doing that. I don't like that. How does he look? Uh, yeah, he's... I don't know. I'm like crouching under the counter. So I can't even see what he's doing. It's fucking creepy. Hmm, okay, well. The ambulance is still a good 20 minutes away. And that kid cannot be doing well. So I need you to go assist him. Oh, fuck that. No fucking way. No, you didn't see the little fucker. He's not normal. Well, in, in situations like these, in real life, like, you're not obligated to help in any way, just for you to know. Like, people do get caught like this, but, um, yeah, from the goodness of your heart, you could always help. You don't have to feel obligated to. Just saying, you know, refusal to cooperate is a crime, right, son? Not in this situation, they're calling to help. Is, 
is that what it is? I mean, in some states, maybe in the US, I'm not too sure about in the US, but definitely not where I live. And um, this definitely adds to the plot, you know, the um, Mandela catalog plot where um, the alternates are trying to kill people. And I'm guessing this kid is an alternate and the officer is either trained to like just let the guy die so that the alternate doesn't like kill other people or um, I'm guessing the officer is also an alternate so we don't know of course fuck fuck okay I'll go check on him then rookie mistake rookie mistake like literally if you don't go they wouldn't know they have no like means of checking anyway Thank you, I'm staying on the line. Alright. Avenue Maria Santissima. Okay. Oh, damn, bitch. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. Is this the kid? Fred, obviously. I don't like him. Okay, you look less bad, but Fred, you're still the same kid. Fred. Okay, um, is that it? Excellent. You have now completed the authenticity assessment examination. Congratulations. If Thank you. If you are accepted into <laughs> you will receive a letter on Mar Among Us? Among Us? Eight. E. Two. A, 1, E, no, 4. Missing. Sorry, I can't pronounce your name. I'm not going to butcher it. Okay. Missing. Mitchell. 14. Wayne Green. F-E, what does that mean? Iron, F-E. Sus. Sus. They are definitely sus. These alternates are killing people, so that's like a big game of Among Us in my head to make it less scary. Okay. Missing. Okay. Oh, what? Hello? Joe's gas station. What can I help you with? Hello, Joe. Oh, sh hey. Hey, man. Hey, how you doing? I'm good, thanks. Um, yeah, I'm just like, I got the late night shift, so I'm just, I'm just fasting until I am here. Okay, let's chat. I think I'm gonna early though. Grab a couple of six mm -hmm. of storage, maybe a lot of joint. <laughs> you seem cool. I like oh, you. No, no, nah, you'll, you'll get pissed off about it, alright. Mm -hmm. like, I was you gonna do fire me. I already put in my two weeks notice. Mm hmm. Yeah, yeah. You know, I, I, I told you about I, last week. Yeah, it was for real. I was for real. I'm, I'm, I'm just, I'm done with this place. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I barely get any sleep as it is. And, you know, you had the fucking late night shift. It takes a fucking toll. Oh, yeah, definitely, buddy. Yeah, get the time yeah, off you deserve. Assholes, yes. yeah, super oh, so you're not though. Joe. I'm sorry. I'm just gonna look around and you know, see what I can find. Any place better than Joe's fucking gas station. Yeah, yeah. You know, I'll, I'll be free for a couple of weeks. You know? Oh, shit, yeah. No, I forgot about that. Yeah. Is that just Friday? Fuck, yeah. No, I'll, I'll be there then. I'll be there. Mm -hmm. Oh, shit, don't, don't deal with an answer though. I'll, I'll, you know, let's make it a surprise. Vanessa? Oh, are you proposing? Alright. Okay, cool, man. See you Friday, man. Sorry, I just jumped right. into conclusions. Maybe Vanessa's a friend. Or a sister. It was too late already. For what? For Friday? It's Wednesday. Excellent. You have now completed the authenticity assessment examination. Congratulations. If Thank you. If you are accepted into... 
You will receive a letter on April the 23rd at 10.04 a.m. Mm -hmm. If the letter arrives before that, stay inside, lock your doors and windows and wait for the real letter to arrive. Do not call the police. If the real letter does not arrive and you believe in a god, pray to them. If they are real, pray. hope they will take pity on your soul. If everything goes well, however, we'll see you very soon. I don't want this job anymore. You ever growing family. You have reached the end of your examination. Is that it? That's cool. Very cool. Um, I feel like this would be much scarier if I did not know the plot. Like, if it just kind of put it on an uncertainty, but sure, let's... Let's let's do it again. Let's do like all trust this time. Or all Fred. Would that be any different? Begin. Let's do all trust. Hello, friend. Thanks for Hello. applying for this position at the authenticity assessment department. All of us here at mm -hmm. are very happy to have you. If you get the job, that is. Today, we'll be testing your instincts to see if you're qualified to perform authenticity assessments on your own. I feel like this is kind of cool, scenario. like the Mandela that, catalog. It's like expanded to, to something like the SCP. Or like the back rooms, Please actually. Like a little... Um... Like a thing. Like a culture that... We could kind of talk about which I think is really cool because it started off with someone just like making something about it okay I'm gonna I'm gonna do what you said a word of mouth okay do you have any professional experience in this area yes do you have any personal experience in this area no Do you believe in God? Let's say yes this time. My family is actually religious. I was sent to like Christian school when I was younger, but um cool. Cool stuff, bruh. Um do you fear death? No. I'm gonna be the perfect participant for this job. No. Do you have people you love in your life? Um, yes, but I'm gonna say no, just for the sake of the job. Do you fear loving? Oh, that's different. E, V, G, B, F, M, F, K, V, F, C. I don't know if that's important, I'm gonna write it down. Hold on, hold on. E, V, G, B, F, M A F K V F C Every very green boy frog makes a funny Kentucky village fried chicken. Do you fear laughing? <laughs> In a moment, we will provide you with several images of people and you must determine whether or not these people are authentic and to be trusted, mm -hmm. or threats you should stay away from. Please be careful with your selections. Our decision on whether to hire you will depend heavily on your results. I'm gonna trust you. Never seen a more trusting face ever! Of course I could trust a good grandma. Love you, grandma. I'ma trust you. I'ma trust you too. It's my job to trust every client. Who are you? Tall. I'ma trust you. I'ma trust you too. And you. Love you, brother. Trust. Da -da -da, yeah, tablet by mouth. 
Never seen a more trustworthy guy. I'm gonna speed run this. Trust. I'm gonna get this job. Trust. Trust. Police department, what's your emergency? That's the same thing. I'm at Dory Park. I'm just gonna try to skip it. I don't think there's a skip button, but I'm gonna click this really quick so we don't have to go through that again. I think it's the same thing. Da, da, da. Let's go, let's go. Let's go, let's go. Hmm, I need more water, sorry. Okay, I'm good. Um, I don't really like analog horror games. I thought this game was gonna be more like mild. It's not too scary now that I know the plot, but um... Yeah, it was kind of scary when I first looked into it. I was like, oh god, I have to play this game, but it's not that bad when I'm talking about it. Hell yeah. You know, refusal to cooperate is a crime, right, son? Thank you, I'll stay on the line. Never see a more trustworthy guy. Yep. More and more trustworthy. You could be my son. Haha, -ha, it's different. It's the smiley face this time. You have now completed the authenticity assessment examination. Mm -hmm. Congratulations. If you Thank are you. accepted into you will receive a letter on Mar Among Us. Thank you. Talking about Among Us, um, E, V, G, B, F, M, A, F, K, V, F, C. Missing. You again. Talking about Among Us, I do actually want to play with like other VTubers, but I was like, mm, is it kind of out of date right now? Am I getting old? Okay, it's the same thing. Last scene. Well, how am I supposed to know if you blacked it, like, you blacked it all out? Ayo, hey, Joe's gas station. Joe's what can we get for you? What's that mean? Hey, like, some guy made like I mean, a barbecue and food like, massage lounge? Like, nice shoes, so I'm just, like I'm just fascinated something. Like, yeah. I Joe? Gonna, I don't know. Like, something like Joe's barbecue and food massage. Joe's barbecue and food massage. That kind of reminded oh, me of it. No, no, you'll, you'll get pissed off about it, alright. Mm -hmm. But, like, I was you gonna do fire me. I already put in my two weeks notice. I love yeah, water. Yeah. You know, I, I, I told you that last week. Yeah, it was for real. That was for real. I'm, I'm, I'm just, I'm done with this place, honestly. Mm -hmm. I barely get any sleep as it is. And is it the same thing? Can I skip it? Oh, I don't think so. Indie game developers, yeah, if you're gonna make a game with different, like, yeah, endings, awesome. please make a skip button. <sighs> just saying. But it's cool. It's a cool game. But, Nah, Nicely put. No, nah, not cool really. Plot. No, I, I think I'm, I'm just gonna look around and you know, see what mm -hmm. I can find. Any place better than Joe's fucking gas station. Oh god. Yeah, I'm yeah. feeling like kinda you know, gassy. Place. Not gassy, I just wanna burp so bad because I just you know, had dinner. Shit, yeah, no, I forgot about that. Yeah, is that just Friday? Fuck yeah, no, I'll, I'll, I'll be there then. I'll be there. Mm -hmm. Oh, she, don't, don't do an acid though. Well. You know, let's make it a surprise. You know, feel what she says. Mm hmm. Alright. Okay, cool now. See you Friday, man. Alright. 
cried. It's too late. It's already too late. Uh, um. Excellent. You have oh. now completed the authenticity <laughs> assessment examination. Congratulations. Sorry, if you are mm -hmm. accepted into you will Talking about like after eating. I get so like sleepy, if but I want to burp so bad. That, so every time like inside. Lock your doors and windows and wait Every for the time real I finish eating, I just kind of lay in my bed, but like I sit up. If the real letter does not arrive and you believe in the God, pray to them. Only if I'm if not like real, in front of the computer or working, soul. I would if just lay down. Well, but however, we'll see you I guess that's soon. not great for your stomach. We'll to have you join I'm g I get family. like so tired, like I just can't help it. The end of your examination. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Is that it? Is that it? Well, okay, that was fun. That was fast. Um. Well, should I do another? Should I do mm -hmm. all wrong? The examination will now begin. Hello, friend. Thanks for applying for this position at the Authenticity Assessment Department. All of us here at <laughs> are very happy I want to try for a different ending. Job, that is. Today. We'll be testing your instincts to see if you're qualified to perform authenticity assessments on your own in a real-life scenario. But before mm -hmm. that, some quick questions are required to get some more insight about who we would be hiring. Please take a sit and await further instructions. Okay. Let's, let's, let's try, like, just trusting everyone that looks like warp and, like, just trusting everyone that looks normal. Like, um, like, 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 normal, normal. No offense. I don't know how to say it. Like, I'm not trying to be, yeah, you know. Newspapers. Okay. I'm gonna try, like, three endings today, so that would be it. I don't know how many endings there are in this game, but, yeah. It's gonna be a short stream, then. I'm thinking if I should play something else. Mm, do you have any experience in this area? Yeah. You believe in God? Yeah. Do you fear death? No. no. Come along, there's some people you love in your life? No. Ah, do you fear loving? No. I will really love. We will provide you with several images of people and you must determine whether what do you guys say? Should I play another game? Should I end it early? Please be do you guys want to talk for a little? Our decision I'm whether open to, to anything right now. I thought like... I thought of like streaming on Tuesdays and um... Trust. And um, Fridays or Thursdays, but um... Since I'm getting the vaccine tomorrow, obviously I can't do tomorrow, that's why I pushed it to today, which is kind of funny, I technically had two streams right after I debuted, but all cool I guess. Fred. Fred. Okay, yeah, you again. It's raining really loud outside. Trust. Fred. My nose is so itchy. Fred. Yeah, I'm gonna trust you. Okay. Okay, okay. You're, you're the bee guy. Fred. I am so good at this. Fred. 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 Okay, police department, what's your emergency? Yeah, we, we saw this. Sorry for people who just joined. Um. Yeah, we just saw this, so I'm gonna skip these. Uh, 
dispatching an ambulance. Talking about ambulances, I feel like when, when in Hong Kong, like we don't have the, like it's not required in Hong Kong to like give road to the ambulances in comparison to many other countries, which I guess is just a thing here. But I try to give road to ambulances. Sheesh! I just outed myself. Yeah, I do drive. Um, I just got my learners, which is epic. Yeah, the the little boy. We're gonna trust him so we could help him. We love fucked up little boys. Mm -hmm. mm, you didn't see that little fucker? He's not normal. We feel so to cooperate this a crime, right? And what was that? Of course. Fuck, fuck. Okay, I'll go check on him then. All right. All right. Yep, definitely trustworthy. Trust. Trust. Okay, we got the smiley face again. Hello. Excellent. Hey, babe. You have now completed the authenticity yes. assessment. Yes. Yes, it's the Among Us. Congratulations. If you are accepted into, you will receive a letter on Mars. Dude, like, um, I'm so like, I'm so how to say, I'm so used to beeps, like being censored words, like when he's like beep 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 beep. I'm like, mm, he's swearing a little much. Mm hmm is this the same ending? Aha. Uh -huh. That's just the same ending, isn't it? Yeah. So we did not get another ending. I heard there's like multiple endings. But um, I'm guessing it's the same thing. Joe's gas, gas station, what can I help you with? Oh, hey, hey man. Yeah? Hey, how you doing? I'm just like, I got the late night shift, so mm -hmm. I'm just, I'm just fasting until I am, yeah. I think I'm gonna early though. Grab a couple of six of storage, maybe a lot of joint. <laughs> mm hmm Oh, no, no, you'll get pissed off about it, alright. But like, I was you gonna do fire me. I already put in my two weeks notice. Yeah, yeah. You know, I, I, I told you about mm. I, I, Talking about these cases, yeah, I was I was recently real. I I'm, looked into I'm, like I'm um blaze, a true crime it's case, really which I thought was it really, it yeah, really interesting. What is it called again? Hold on. Um. Yeah, bless Joseph, fucking assholes. That's, yeah, it's two birds on stone. <sighs> Let me look it up. Yeah, the Tamem shoot nah, case. Really, no, I, There's this guy in like I, an I, Australian I beach. Like, it is from quite it's long ago. I think it's from the um, like 40s yeah, actually, yeah. like yeah, um 1940 sure. something, almost like 50 ish. They found like this you know, guy like shit, just yeah, dead no, on a beach, that, yeah. but he looks completely right. normal. There's no like. Fuck yeah, um, I'll, I'll be evidence there. of him be being like oh, abuse or that. like no, um, yeah, any external things that killed him. Sure Nothing. He was just like found dead right. on a beach. There's okay, like no ident identification on him. There's right. nothing on him except for like a little piece of like paper from a book that was um. Excellent. You have now completed it was like the authenticity a person, like writing, like a face called Tamashud. Like, sorry if I'm pronouncing it wrong, on April the but at it was like a paper found the in the fob pocket of his trousers, and, um, and wait for the real letter to arrive. yeah, like it was like police. offered by a 12th century God, poet and. If they are real, um, it's kind of like a Bible for them. If everything goes I would well, assume, however, like, I don't know how to put that soon. 
into words, but the death was so mysterious and the, the like identity of the man was never found, like no fingerprints, nothing. It was is a cool case. I might cover it actually. But um yeah, I guess that's the end of the game. I guess that's it. End of the game, but um do 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 let me close that. Yeah, like talking about that case so basically that guy was like found on the beach he was dead and no one had any identification of him which i was like wow that's kind of cool and um i should be able to look it up let me see let me see if i can share this it's kind of um it's kind of graphic though i'm gonna just show it here okay look away if you're uncomfortable with stuff like this i'm gonna put the image in it's gonna go right here okay yeah so this is the case this is the guy and this was in his pocket which was interesting because like there's no identification of him no one came like forward to say oh i know this man like literally no one was like no one knew him other than like this lady who had a son that looked awfully familiar to this man like this this guy this victim um if he is a victim i'm not sure but um apparently what people said was that that woman was like an unknown lover of that guy and um i think they had a kid but she wouldn't reveal like she was a nurse but she wouldn't reveal like his identity it's just that his her son looks awfully alike to him and there's a like, phone number on like that piece of paper that like linked it to hers which i thought it was it might be a possibility but like there's no evidence like backing got that up so unfortunately like yeah you can't really prove it so it's a cold case right now but i heard they got like this man exhumed so basically like they duck him up and they're going to do another analysis on him like a forensic analysis to see if they could find anything else about this case because of public interest but yeah let me put on the music again and um yeah i don't know like i've seen this case a long time ago and i am not really that well versed in it to be able to say anything too much about it but it is a cool case if you guys are interested in looking into it and um yeah i also recently found out about this case uh da, da, da. wait a minute hold on oh i don't think i could search it up for some reason i don't know the english for it but anyway it is actually related to the escape room i went the other day so i was like mm, that's so cool i should look it up and apparently in the 80s someone in hong kong they took their baby to like a hundred days party so that's what we do like here when the baby reaches like a hundred days old after birth we throw a party named bak yat yin and this family threw it at a place in causeway bay i think the windsor palace plaza not palace plaza or something is right in um how do i say do you know like where um sephora is in causeway bay yeah that building and on top of it apparently they threw a party there for the baby but the baby died like in unforeseeable circumstances like literally randomly the baby died and um 
the family was freaking out. Like, I mean, I would be freaking out if my baby died. I, I don't have a baby, but um, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, the baby just randomly died after the birthday. And the mother had a dream that night. A fox, like a Wu Xin. So, a nine tailed fox. Something like. You know, like Kitsune in um, Japanese culture? So, in like a Chinese culture? Like. They have something like this too. Let me show you. Something like this. It's kind of yeah, like this. They call it like Wu Lei Jing or um, Wu Xin, which essentially is just like a fox, and typically they're evil or mischievous. You could say. Because they're basically not your friend. Yeah, rip baby. I feel bad for it. But um, yeah, the story was that like the baby died and the mom had a dream that night. And then the craziest thing, she saw a fox. The fox was really angry because they threw the party and didn't like offer them like um, alcohol. Like, you know how like in our culture... People would offer alcohol to like gods or like ancestors, like people who passed. Yeah, they didn't like offer alcohol to like the fox spirits. So she saw like the fox spirit in her dream claiming that and then her baby died. So she was a new parent and I would say... Um, it is not uncommon for, like, new parents to have, like, um, depression after pregnancy. Um, I need the terminology for it. Hold on. Um, depression. Yeah, it's postpartum depression, I believe it is. Um, and the mother was having, like, these nightmares about it. So... So, like, they were claiming, oh, a fox killed my baby because we didn't, like, offer it alcohol. And because people here are very superstitious, they did believe it. And, um, they went back to that place, like, that restaurant. We call it Zhang Lao. It's kind of like a fancier venue for eating, for, like, marriages or, like, um like baby parties baby showers and stuff like that but yeah basically they went back they saw like um the marbles let me see if i could find it um Da, da, da. Well, I, I found it, but it's kind of blurry. Let me try to show it here. Um, it's so hard typing like Chinese on my computer. Not gonna lie, I'm so bad at typing, so it would take a little while. Hold on. Okay, we'll see... Do, do, do. I'm trying. I'm trying so hard. <laughs> Please bear with me for a bit. Um, but okay, okay, found it. Found it. Okay, okay. Tell me if this looks like a fox to you or not. Let's see. Da, da, da. There. Oh, that's huge. Hold on. That's huge. That's big. Okay, this is what they saw. Like, this is what they saw. And this is what they thought they were seeing. A little fox. I don't know if that looks alike. Does it look alike to you? Like, I could kind of see the eyes and the nose if you... 
if you're telling me. Postpartum. Yeah, thank you. I got it. Like, I could kind of see the face if you look really hard. Oh, I kind of applaud to their imagination in a way. But maybe I shouldn't say that out too loud. Um, if they come and get me tonight, you guys would know. But <laughs> um, yeah, I thought it was really interesting because um, from what they said, they saw this and apparently the fox spirit was like contained into the walls. And um, yeah. Well, I guess we could conclude the stream today. Oh, it's like a fox face. Yeah, yeah, you see it, right? You see it, right? It's like a little fox face. I kind of, I like foxes. They're so cute, but um, I guess because of one of the empresses back in ancient China, I forgot her name, Tanji or something. They kind of portrayed foxes as like evil or like mischievous. But I think they're really cute creatures after all. So big fox. I, w I love foxes. They're so cute. You know that Kitsune village in Japan? I really want to go. I like the front view. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, it definitely looks like one. And um, I really... I would really like to go visit that Kitsune village in Japan. It looks so cool and the foxes look so funny. They're so like friendly looking. But um, yeah, I've been to like the Nara park with all the deers. It's really pretty. But uh, with the restrictions we still have right now, it's kind of not worth it to travel yet. Maybe in the future I would travel there. I actually got like a ton of like and like Japanese money because of the prices going down earlier so yeah if you guys are into that kind of stuff definitely look into it it's dropped so low recently I think it's like at five point something right now in Hong Kong so definitely look into it like <laughs> well if you're thinking of traveling anyway um yeah I guess I would conclude my stream today is a little short um sorry about that as i was saying i was feeling a little under the water and yeah i hope you guys enjoyed it it's really fun this game and i put like the mandela catalog things in the description box if you guys want to check that out and yeah thank you for joining and have a good one guys well bye bye